dream that mother left. It is said most likely he's that terrible one about our mother. The chances are as well, happy and carefree as yes, she can be. I'd be so much happier if I could go to the telephone, call up and find out. Send her a telephone to her, but I... Oh, Rena, don't break down like this. I can't help it. I'm miserable, John. Miserable. Oh, Rena, Rena, please hush. The servants might hear you. I can't help it, they do. I want to see my mom. This is the third time I've experienced this terrible thing. I'm heartbroken. Oh, Mom, Mom, to see you. Rena, will you please hush? You don't realize what you're saying. I'm trying to be strong, John, for the best. But Mom and I have been capable companions all of my life. And I miss her so that until sometimes I feel that I'll just die. Honestly, I don't know what I will do. Why, we could call her the nurse, or the cook, or, oh yes, the housekeeper. Yes, bring her here, call her what you like. And how long would it be before some relatives from Fayetteville or Sampson County met her on the street, wrote her a letter, done something to expose us all, to spread the news throughout the whole county that John Wallach and his beautiful sister engaged to marry George Tryon, wealthy sign of the old South, had Negro blood in their veins. Great heavens, woman, do you want to lead us to an arsenal, set a man to it, and then expect to go on living? Oh, no, 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 John. I would rather suffer and die a thousand deaths we were to build up during all these years. I understand now. I must forget about Mama, myself, and think of you, your career. Oh, I'm so sorry, brother. But from now on, I'll suffer alone. I'll not jeopardize you. Believe that, John. I'll go on. You know, I got a suspicion. Yeah? Yes. Now listen. It is a source of constant worry to me. I've taken an awful risk, but thus far I feel that I have succeeded. That is, as far as my efforts are concerned. I've placed you into society. Every girl in the town envies you. Why, you've landed the greatest catch in the whole. You have everything that the richest girls in South Carolina want and crave. Still, as I have said, way deep down in your heart, you're still passionately in love with a cold black Negro in North Carolina. Honey, you fly to him this minute. I can't understand it. Then I'll try to explain, John. When Judge Strait sent you away to school as a white boy, you were young and unburdened, and no environment had settled upon you and shaped you for another life as it has me. You grew up and went through school as a white boy, so that by the time you were old enough to go with girls, you had forgotten your childhood days sufficiently to feel at home. It wasn't a case of being suddenly picked up and placed in a new and strenuous environment as you have placed me. All this frightens me. I'm afraid to talk, to smile, to do anything, for fear that I'll make a mistake. I'm embarrassed. I'm sorry for the trial that you are so interested in. I imagine he is wonderful. But, oh, John, I, I've never known men like him. I'm afraid to, I don't know what to do, or what to say, or how to turn. All this upsets me. I am not vain, but, but I find it so, so hard to talk to him. And then another thing, always well in the presence of these people, Mr. Tryon and all the rest, I am constantly thinking of who I am and who they are and how they would hate me and despise me if they knew the truth. How they would scorn and look at me and point their fingers at me and call me that unspeakable name, John. Oh, John. Rena, Rena. There. I knew she didn't want to leave her people. It's that brother who's making her do this. A poor little girl. Sister, where on earth are you drifting to? God knows where, John. I only know that I am not a white girl but a negress, and happy and sorry as only I knew they could be. I knew I could go on sharing their joy, their sorrow, their poverty, their, their everything. You're coming back to Frank again. Yes, wherever my mind wanders, it always goes back to him, to Frank. To me, he is manly, so frank, so honest, so truthful. You are thinking of him only as one of us. 
us? Yes, us. For I repeat, I am one of them, and I believe in faith. Oh, Rena, Rena. Oh, I just like to hurt truthful and frank and honest, and that is what I mean about him. He sent me here. That is how kind he is. For I was ready and offered the first time in my life to disobey Mom and marry him in spite of her, of you. But he wouldn't let me. He wouldn't have me. He made me come on. He forced me to come on and see it through. But why, Irene? Because he is a man, John, willing to sacrifice what is more dear to him than his own life, his own soul. And that is why I love him so. I, I hope you understand, dear. Oh, Rena, you're nervous and upset. Go and lie down for a while. I've got to go out, will you? Thank you. 